This is an experimental platform that we're putting out at Dimensions offsite to gather interest on these types of use cases or how we can apply this vehicle in different ways. So this particular case, we're uh, tracking the paving machines. This is an SPS 930, which is a standard robotic turtle station used in paving. The difference here is typically they set up this SPS 930 on tripods, and you'll see a few across the way there. Uh, and it's the surveyor's job to manage those turtle stations. So they'll have maybe four or five of them lined up on the alignment here. As the paver moves down the alignment, doing its paving or even milling, it'll switch off tracking from one turtle station to another. Obviously, once you get further down, they have to pick up their tripods and their gear and then reset up down in the front of the line, and they do that all day long. So this use case is just automating the motion of the turtle station across those stations. If you think of them like bus stops down this lane, this vehicle is at bus stop four. When it comes into position, come into position using GNSS and we'll have a good estimate of its position and orientation. Given that, we can set up the total station to look directly at the control point because again we already know generally where it is and where it's pointing. So it makes the uh, backside really fast. We just turn at the uh, control point. There's another control point behind us over there. Uh, so the setup gets really fast and then the previous vehicle has been tracking the paver or the milling machine. So it already knows the position of the paver and milling machine, even as it's in motion. They can communicate it to this vehicle. So this vehicle knows exactly where to turn and hit the target on the lead uh, construction vehicle. So then it's now available for tracking, just like the previous one was. But in a product, the operator would say, okay, I need to advance that one. So this one would now stand down station and then it would drive along a predetermined uh, trajectory, track, uh, past this vehicle, and then it would become the front vehicle. It would do that all again. It would uh, guide itself into the station, and then uh, set up this traditional survey technique of establishing the station again, and then turning and tracking the vehicle. So they'll just leapfrog down the alignment like that, uh, continuing to go, so the surveyor doesn't have to pick up his total station and walk it down the end of the alignment all day long. He can just trigger it to move down the pre-calculated mission that it already, it already got. So that's the idea, and we're out here just gathering interest from the paving customers and dealers, whether something like this would be of interest to them in specific use cases. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.